42 years after she stepped down as MP for Blackburn, 19 years after she died, a statue is finally unveiled to one of the longest serving female MPs in British history. Barbara Castle served her Lancashire constituency for 34 years and became a major figure in the Labour movement. Her influence still felt by Labour's deputy leader Angela Rayner, who helped unveil the statue. To come here today and to see the unveiling of the statue of Barbara Castle in Blackburn is it's tremendous. You know, being ginger, outspoken, northern, I can relate to quite a lot of what Barbara stands for. You know, she was a staunch trade unionist. I am. It's in my blood. Barbara Castle, for example, still has to keep the traffic moving. Often described as a force of nature, Barbara Castle rose to prominence under Prime Minister Harold Wilson in the 1960s and early 70s. She held a number of senior roles in the Cabinet, including the positions of Transport Minister, Health Secretary and First Secretary of State. The statue shows her holding the Equal Pay Act, legislation she's often best remembered for. It was important for sculptor Sam Holland. She inspired me and she inspired a, you know, a, a generation. Um, and it's, it was a sort of thank you from me, but also from women of my generation as well. Barbara Castle's legacy is very much still with us. Not only was she responsible for the Equal Pay Act, she oversaw legislation which led to the wearing of seatbelts in cars, a national speed limit and the use of the breathalyzer. The statue is being seen by her admirers as a fitting tribute to one of the region's most influential politicians. Ralph Blunson, ITV News, Blackburn.